What's going on, Bruin fans? Yeah, I know this one hurts. Uh, UCLA lost to UC Irvine in walk-off fashion, and the baseball season's over. Uh, you know, UCLA's record... <coughs> sorry, it's coughing. I'm sick a little bit, but... <coughs> UCLA's record kind of speaks for itself. They were inconsistent. <coughs> I think the expectations of this team was a little too high. And, uh, you know, the media was on us after last year, having a big Cinderella kind of run. Uh, this year, they couldn't handle the pressure. <coughs> They lost the opener to USF, uh, definitely overlooked them. The bats were dead. They, I think it was 3 nothing loss. And then they beat Fresno State, which was good, of course, to play another day. They beat USF in the rebound match. And then in, against UC Irvine, they were up 3 nothing, then eventually 3-2, and then Zach Weiss blows it in the ninth inning. Uh, yeah, it hurts. It's a one-run lead, and I know college baseball is really unpredictable how, with the you know the bats and all. <clears throat> it's part of the game, and you, they couldn't even get it out of the ninth inning. So, congrats to UC Irvine. Y'all beat you, beat us. Uh, they were they beat us earlier this year, so it's it's not really a surprise that UC Irvine beat UCLA. But it definitely hurts that they're going to be repping Southern California when it comes to uh, the Super Regionals, because all the other SoCal schools were out. USC couldn't even make the dance. Uh, Cal State Fullerton, who yeah, I kind of hate them in baseball. They're, Cal State Fullerton found a way to lose in their own house. And, of course, UCLA just lost to UC Irvine. So, uh, Irvine represents SoCal the rest of the way. Uh, and it will be kind of whack if the games play out uh, and UCLA is the only Pac-10 school to lose in the opener. But uh, that would be pretty sad. That's all I could say. UCLA was their champion in the regular season. First time winning a uh, Pac-10 regular season title, and, you know, there's no conference tournaments like it is for uh, others in the Pac-10, so they were the champions of this conference, and uh, they couldn't they couldn't compete after that. They just didn't do so well in non-conference play. Uh, inconsistency was huge this year. As said earlier, the losses to San Jose State, UC Riverside, uh, UC Irvine at a point, uh, Georgia, who uh, I know Georgia actually had a good season for them, uh, just... Couldn't do well outside of the conference, and uh, it's unfortunate. But you know what? I can move on. Uh, good luck to Trevor Bauer and Garrett Cole. I think those two are definitely going to be drafted. Bill Arminol did well. Uh, go to Kiefer did okay. But the bats were just so inconsistent. Uh, I think this was just a young team that was showing their youth. Like last year's team happened to overachieve. A lot of youth as well. But the top recruits, some of those who do happen to stay, should mature even better next year. I don't know how big the expectations will be from here on out, but we're going to lose Trevor Bauer and Garrett Cole for sure. So good luck to you guys in the majors, wherever you get drafted. Hopefully it's not to a team I hate. But uh, oh, with that being said, it's it was a decent salvage in the regular season. You almost thought this team wouldn't make the tournament, and they won the Pac-10 Conference. So uh, they did as they were expected to do once conference play began, but uh, it's unfortunate what happened the rest of the way. Some of you probably wonder who am I cheering for the rest of the way. You might say, yeah, the rest of the Pac-10 Conference, but specifically Cal. Uh, I would love to see it if Cal makes a run or makes a Cinderella run. You know, for those of you who don't know, Cal was dead in the waters. Back in September, five programs were cut. I think there was their gymnastics programs, the lacrosse, uh, rugby. Rugby, by the way, is a dominant program. That's like a powerhouse. And then baseball. So then... Two or three months ago, like four, four of those five teams I just mentioned got revived or got maintained. They raised enough money. But baseball was still considered to be in the dumps. This could have been the last baseball season for Cal. And uh, they were able to uh, somehow save it. About, a, about two or three weeks ago, they actually were able to save the program. And uh, everything got maintained despite the budget cuts of the state. So... I'd love to see Cal, if they do make a run, it would be a really nice story or inspirational story because they were once dead in the dumps and this program could have been dead at the end of this year, but it's not. And the players are playing hard this year, so uh, Cal, it'd be interesting if they they make a run and they beat Baylor tonight and uh, make the Super Regionals. Good luck to them. Uh, good luck to if, if your team is still in it. 
Uh, I don't really care much the rest of the way, of course, overall. Obviously, my team is out. This channel is going to be previewing a little bit of uh, football. When it comes to Pac-12 play, you're going to see me talk about all 12 teams individually. So be sure to stay tuned on this channel for that. But until then, uh, we'll see you all later. Good luck to the track teams for UCLA. Uh, I know usually uh, Oregon dominates that, that stuff. But uh, we'll see you all later. I'll be talking college football previewing in about a month on this channel. So we'll see you guys later.